Hi, my name is Ellie, and I'm here promoting both of Praise's books that I promised him I would do. I know him because I am hired by the family to help a wee bit. His latest book is on biblical slavery. As you know, biblical slavery is directed by the Lex Talionis of the Old Testament laws. These laws are widespread in the ancient Near East and even used in the Code of Hammurabi. The Lex Talionis, which is Latin translates to the law of retaliation. Here's a little excerpt on how he scrutinizes these laws. A lot of people get this confused and they think, oh, this means the golden rule to treat people as you want to be treated. It's not the golden rule. This goes beyond the golden rule. This is super erogatory. What is super irrigation or super erogatory acts? Well, they're acts that go beyond obligation. Ha, huh. man. They think there's two sets of laws. Tisk tisk. Tisk tisk. Let's see here. It is in Leviticus 24. I just forgot what verse. Give me a second here. Um, blah, blah, blah. I was born in the land when he blasphemeth, and he killeth a man, he killeth a beast, and made a cause of blemish, so it kind of breach the breach of the eye of tooth for a tooth. And he that killeth, let's see here. Here it is. Okay, so verse 22. I'm going to start with, might as well start with the eye for an eye. Okay, here we go. If a man cause a blemish in his neighbor, as he hath done, so shall it be done to him. That's called the golden rule. This is explicitly different than Leviticus 19.34, which says to love thy neighbor or love thy foreigner. Well, here it is. This is not the same law. This demonstrates that there's two, there's two separate ethics here. There is the golden law, and that is the law of reciprocity. It's called Lex Talionis. So Lex Talionis is the golden rule. So the Bible goes a step above the golden, I mean, the golden rule. Anyway, so whatever they, whatever someone does to you, you have a right to do it back to them. If someone smacks you in the cheek, smack them back in the cheek. There. Isn't that wonderful? Don't turn the other cheek. Slap them back. Real hard too. Yes, this is God's supererogatory love. And as he said, this is the golden rule. This next book I must start using the saying it takes one to know one. Now, I don't want your mind to go in a gutter. I know this because of what I'm hired for. One of my jobs is to treat his intertrigo, so it isn't what you're thinking. This is intertrigo. So no doubt I have first-hand knowledge. So here's a little excerpt on this book from Praise I Am. And please, you not forget what I said. It takes one to know one. And I will say he knows. So let's be honest. This is projective identification in its finest form. Projective identification is an unconscious way of coping with negative feelings or emotions by attributing them to someone else. Yes, I must say that to be truthful. That you have your channel and it's going strong and his is gone and it's filled with degenerates. It's just filled, totally just trash and garbage. That's what his channel, you it was taken it. over with. You know what we call Hobbit. it? What? Small dick energy. It's called small dick energy. <laughs> hey, for, for men that have a small dick, they get really pissed off and they, they lash out. He's lashing out right now. Terrible, smoky, terrible. <laughs>